Hello guys, and today I would kind of want to talk about a little bit about a video that, honestly, I really just have mixed feelings about. So the video in question I want to talk about is video titled Brutal Doom is Trash, Here's Why by Bean Sprout. And I'm pretty sure you can already tell how bad it is just based on what he says at the start. Brutal Doom is trash. And now, already, this is a bit of a red flag, since he obviously is ranting about a mod that is pretty much exponentially popular, and is also arguably one of the most important Doom mods when you take a look at when you take a look at Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, with how the, some features are carried over. Now, there are a lot of different red flags I kind of want to mention about, but of course that is being just one of them, so there are multiple that I kind of want to talk about. So, the second red flag I want to mention actually applies to the shorts video he did the month prior about Brutal Doom. I get that the mods had a lot of effort put into it, but in my opinion the mod has too many unnecessary features, is overly edgy for absolutely no reason. But this statement is, I guess, sort of justifiable in a way, So I mean, yes, Brutal Doom does add a lot of features that are not really that necessary, but there are like features in it that actually wouldn't make sense that we would see in Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal as I mentioned earlier. So one of these being the sort of fatalities that you do when you kill a demon with the Berserk. Basically it just shows that sort of animation of Doom guy just destroying it, which we see with the glory kills in Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. And another thing to know is that there is also some new, like, weapons. I mean, some are good, like the Railgun, which we later see in Doom 2016 as the Gauss Cannon or the Ballista. And then, you, at that same time, there are, like, some weapons that are not really as effective. They're only really situational, like the M16 and the submachine gun and the axe. With all three, I mean... They, they don't seem to be effective, but can be helpful if you ever really need to use them. So, like, for the Fire Axe, I mean, there's not really much you can ever really use with that. I mean, I specifically didn't see much use out of it. I mean, I'd rather just use something like the Chainsaw, which can wreck enemies in a single hit, like in June 2016. And then the SMG, I mean, it's only really efficient if you're ever really low on chain gun ammo, which is important for the... Um, you know, the M16 and the chain gun, or minigun. Then the M16, or the assault rifle as it's called in the mod, it, it also can be useful, but only for like, the first part in the entire game. Which, yeah, that seems reasonable, because you'll get the shotgun, or the SMG. Another feature that also may seem useless, but actually seems like a good idea, is the aiming down the sights. Which, again, I mean, it is true that aiming down sights is... Not really a good idea. I mean, you see it in like, you can see it in all different mods like Brutal Doom or Half Life 2 M mod. But I mean, I there are actually some use out of the aim down sights, like the ones with the like the weapons in the mod that have uh, scopes, like the rocket launcher or the railgun. And I mean, which yeah, so you can effectively take down targets from like a further distance. And also, this may just be me, but I for some reason noticed that um, when you aim down the sights with the normal shotgun, it actually shoots faster. Which can especially be useful if you're playing Knee Deep in the Dead or any other episode of Ultimate Doom for that matter, since Ultimate Doom does not have the super shotgun, which, again, just is that important. You can also use a flashlight and also a quick kick feature, and... Both of which are, well, the flashlight was particularly derived from Doom 3, well, specifically BFG Edition, which had the shoulder-mounted flashlight, whereas the original just had a handheld flashlight that you can only use as its own weapon. They had to, like, and then you just had to take it out and pull out, like, your shotgun or plasma gun or whatever. And then the kick is kind of, again, just a feature that would be that we would see later in Doom 2016 with, like, the quick melee option, which, you know, a simple punch and, you know, that would, and then you can, like, put a zombie and then just, like, glory kill it. It's that simple. So, yeah, both of those, I mean, again, they're not 
entirely important, but I mean, they, but like, the quick kick was sort of like derived from, it was like, later the inspiration, kind of, if you think it that way. And also, speaking of the kick, if you like, if you also sort of move, like hold W, crouch, and then do kick, you can sort of do a slide, you can do a sort of slide thing, which, I mean, which can be useful, but not every map really requires you to do this, let alone the official maps, like Doom 1 and Doom 2. And then there's, like, the other important features, like, which only really were there because of the source port used for Brutal Doom, that being GZ Doom, like, the ability to have mouse look, and also the ability to, to jump, crouch, um, use, like, add different customizations, so you can basically make it do however you want it to look like. Now, the last red flag, and, oh my god, this is the one that really, really is why this, like, this is the reason why I wanted to make this video, and basically, this is the part where Beansprout mentions Project Brutality, and, which, if you don't know what that is, it's sort of an add-on, which adds even more stuff, as if you guys thought Brutal Doom wasn't as ludicrous enough, but in that video, this is what he says at the at the beginning. Because I've tried Project Brutality, and to be honest, it's not my thing. I find it very boring. Yeah, I assume that's everyone's reaction. But like, seriously, what the fuck is that about? And Bean Spread, if you're watching this, look at this next clip <clears throat> and tell me, tell me this is boring. <laughs> Okay, that's maybe not the best example I can try to justify him, if he was even watching that. But yeah, I mean, it's true. I mean, Project Brutality is not actually boring. It's actually... Well, it's actually kind of ludicrous, actually. I mean, it's basically like Doom's equivalent of Half-Life 2 S mod, in which it adds in way more weaponry than Brutal Doom already does. But at the same time, the weapons are actually very good. Like, some of the weapons, like you saw in the clip, there was, um, you can use the MG42, which you can get in the hidden Wolfenstein levels in Doom 2. And you get, like, an M2 plasma gun, which is based on Doom 3's plasma gun, which is a semi-auto plasma gun, which basically can do a lot of damage whilst not using very much ammunition. And yeah, it adds in so many more weapons and just kind of reworks some entirely. Which, yeah, I really admit that's actually very awesome. And also something else interesting to note is that he's also playing on a different Project Brutality than I was using. I assume he was using Project Brutality 2.0 which you can find on ModDB, whereas I was playing on Project Brutality 3.0, which you can find on GitHub, which... So yeah, I just thought maybe I would point that out. Now, of course, that's only really the surface of what Project Brutality has to offer. So if you really want to take a look at more of Project Brutality, I highly recommend you check out a mod review of Project Brutality by another YouTuber named G-Man Lives. You, which, yeah, you should check it out. It's very important if you want to, you know, look more into Project Brutality. Although, just now he's playing the same version as I'm pretty sure Bean Sprout's using, Bean 2.0. Now, one more thing before we um, end this video is that if there is a thing I had not mentioned in this video that Bean Sprout complains about, then it may be because he mentions it in his follow up video which is called Brutal Doom is Still Trash, as obviously to be expected. So, um, yeah, I would highly recommend you check out that if you're really daring enough to do so. But, um, anyways, that should do for this video. I hope you enjoyed this sort of talk video. If you have, be sure to get, like the video and earn a subscribe and ring the bell for more videos. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say.